Hello everyone, this is Natalie and my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. This is a video review of my unique shaped diamond painting kits in the shape of nesting dolls. If you want to know more, stay with me. you saw a few seconds ago were the nesting dolls before the sealant was applied. Please note it and remember it. I will come back to it a little bit later. This kit was purchased on AliExpress. The store name is Shiny Home. As always, I will leave a link to the store in the description box under the video. The cost of the kit was around $6-$7. And it contained five pieces of plastic in the shape of nesting dolls with applied design on them, covered with a thin clear film that would protect the adhesive on the kits. The kit also contained a standard set of tools with gems and unique shaped diamonds. The majority of gems and unique shaped um, diamonds are of a good quality, very few damaged ones, and only some colors aren't as sparkly as others. If you've watched my unboxing video of this very kit, I mentioned that this brand has great quality AB diamonds. Oh well, apparently it is a different manufacturer from the butterfly kits that I diamond painted a few days ago. It was packaged in absolutely different individual bags 
and their AB diamonds are just average. And I actually have a lot of diamonds left after the project was finished. Here they are. These are all diamonds I have left. Pretty many, right? Diamond painted with them and I did not really like how they looked. So I had to replace these very diamonds with crystals. So let's start with the first one I diamond painted. It was this. As you can see on this side of the kit there are um, AB diamonds. It was diamond painted with AB diamonds. Here you can see a completely manufactured version. I did not um, make any changes to this very side. So I do not really like the way it looks with AB diamonds. Besides the AB diamonds of not such a good quality as for example in a different kit that I used to diamond paint the butterflies. And in real life it looks um, worse than on the camera. I placed AB diamonds with crystals on the other side and let me show you how it turned out. That's how it looks with crystals. Yellow crystals. So this is the first nesting doll. Now let's go over each nesting doll. This one. I really like how it turned out, although it is way too multicolored for me. The only thing that I did, I replaced yellow AB diamonds with white ones from the previous kit. Here, you can see that here on her, um, I don't know, whatever it is, hat. I'm not sure if you can see the quality. They are amazing, these AB diamonds. So this is the only, uh, this is the only change that I made to this very kit. Beautiful, right? <laughs> kind of Christmassy. And it is the same design on the back side. So that's how it looks. Next is this very kit. As to this one, I really love how it looks. Um, for the first time I used these unique shaped diamonds in the shape of roses and in the shape of heart. I have never worked with those before. What I replaced on this one are again AB diamonds. I'm not sure where, maybe over here somewhere in this area. This one, I did make many changes to this one. So this is kind of a manufacturer's side except of again the AB diamonds. Um, in the majority of cases, I replace the AB diamonds, either the yellow AB diamonds, either with white AB diamonds, like over here and over here, or with the crystals, yellow crystals, like over here and uh, over there. As to this one, I really love the way it looks. What else I did, I replaced pink crystals with uh, the ones that I had left over from a different kit. They're a little bit brighter than the manufacturer added to this very kit because I guess you can see it on the camera. They are not very sparkly. These are blurry. So I wanted to diamond paint with some crystals that would be more sparkly. And I decided to use the ones from a different kit. They are not only more sparkly, but brighter as well. Later on, when I was done with this part, I replaced these clear, unique shaped diamonds with purple ones that again I had left from my Christmas kit that I diamond painted like six months ago. And that's how it looks. Ta-da! I like this part way much better. It looks brighter, it is in um, the same shade. Purple, pink, white, I really love it. My version versus manufacturer's version. Although I admit both look stunning. And the last one, beautiful, fantastic blue nesting dolls. I did not make any changes whatsoever. It's an absolutely manufacturer's version. I love the way it looks. I love 
the blending of the colors. I love how the colors are matched on this diamond painting. It's amazing. I love it. One of my favorite ones. And again, look at this. It was sealed. It has a sealant on it, this aqua glue. And do you see how much it sparkles? It is the same from both sides, no changes. One side and the other side. Overall, I do love how the nesting dolls turned out. I love the colors. Unique shaped diamonds are fantastic and look amazing on these kids. As I mentioned before, you could see the dolls without a sealant in the very beginning of the video before I started talking, when the music was playing. Do you remember I asked you to remember that part? These that you see now are sealed. Do you see any difference between how they were before, before the sealant, in the beginning of the video, and how they are now? I don't. And I'm recording this not even at the electric light. Look at this. And look how sparkly they are. How beautiful they look. Fantastic. These dolls do look terrific, and individual sparkle of the gems remained. The gaps between the drills look glazed. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, those gaps between the drills, but they do look glazed, like a beautiful glassy finish. And the rhinestones themselves are really very well secured. I was trying to move them, and I couldn't. My secret is, my secret sealant is, as you have probably already guessed, especially if you saw my video number 54, where I showed how to apply uh, the sealants and what sealants I used, which ones are my favorite. So my secret sealant is aqua glue. The final result after the glue being applied is very similar to resin or clear cast. But the process of uh, sealing is less messy, less time consuming, drying is much faster. I cannot tell you exactly how long uh, for aqua glue to get dry because I left mine overnight. I think it's just a few hours, not 24 hours like in the case of resin. Aqua glue does not take away the sparkle and the drills remain to be really very secured. I'm very happy with this a beautiful nesting dolls. And I ordered a new kit, also purse charms, just like these ones, or keychains. And they come in a different shape. I won't tell you which one yet, but as soon as they arrive, I will show them to you. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope this video was more than informative.